students today we are going to learn some methods of inquiry in psychology first of all we can see a psychological research is conducted for the purpose of description prediction explanation control of behavior and application of knowledge generated in an objective manner scientific research involves the following steps conceptualization a problem collection of data analyzing data drawing and revising revising research conclusions the psychological research is also conducted to explain and understand subjective meaning of events as they occur in a particular context and also manifest one own behavior and experiences psychological researches use different type of data including demographic environmental physical psychosociological and psychological information are gathered in psychological study the data is located in an context and linked to the theory and method used for its collection okay psychologists used three general methods one is natural observation which is made as systematic as possible by the development of psychological test another is the experimental method in which independent variables are manipulated and dependent variables are measured okay the third is statistical methods to test the significance of difference obtained and the compute correlation between variables okay the general scientific method involves careful observation forming hypothesis and testing hypothesis against empirical facts psychologists use three major scientific methods descriptive methods correlational methods and formal experiments first descriptive methods include the use of survey naturalistic observation and clinical methods to describe behavior and mental processes these help us to reach the goal of description okay second correlational methods are used to study the relationship between variables these help us to reach the goal of prediction third formal experiments can be used to reach conclusion about case about cause and effect relationships between variables this help us to reach the goal of understanding and influencing behavior okay different methods are used for the con- collections collection of information that is observation experiment correlational research survey research case study etc observation method refers to employing systematic organized and objective produ- procedures to record behavioral phenomena occurring naturally in real life it may be naturalistic versus controlled and participant versus versus non participant the experimental methods helps in establishing cause effect relationship experiment refers to a series of observation conducted under control conditions to investigate the causal relationship between selected variables okay it involves 
the manipulation of an independent variable in order to see its effect on a dependent variable. There are three types of experiments. The laboratory experiment, the field experiment and the natural experiment or Cauchy experiment. In most of psychological measurement, the individual differences in one ability are often related to individual differences in other abilities. Correlational research indicates a relationship between two variables. The correlation between two vari variables may range from plus 1.00 through 0 0.00 to minus 1.00. The coefficient of correlation is of three types, positive, negative and zero. Correlation simply provide a numerical value of relationship. It never explains the cause of relationship. The focus of survey research and interview is the inform about the exciting reality. The investigators make use of questionnaire, interviews and rating to obtain information about a particular area. Surveys are generally remote in that respondents do not have an interviewer present whether Interviewer views involves face-to-face -face interaction. The questionnaire is very common, simple, versatile and low-cost self-report method of collecting data. Surveys are also conducted through telephonic survey. Okay? Psychological test. Psychological test have, have been devised and the primarily used for the determination and analyze, analysis of individual differences in general intelligence, differentiate aptitude, educational achievement, vocational fitness, personality, social attitude and non-intellectual characteristics. A psychological test is a standardized and objective tool which is used to access an individual's abilities and personality characteristics in relation to other. A good psychological test should have high reliability, high validity and representative norms. Psychological test can be categorized on language basis as verbal, non-verbal and performance traits. On the basis of administration, psychological tests are divided into individual and group tests. These tests can, be, can also be classified as speed or power test. Then we see case study. The case study is another important technique to understand human behavior. Okay, it is an attempt to explore in some considerable depth the behavior and experiences of an individual. These are based on data generated by different methods that is interview, observation, questionnaire and psychological tests. Case studies are developed of individuals organizational organizations small group of individuals institutions and specific events in psychological researches the data may be analyzed through qualitative as well as quantitative methods lack of absolute zero relative nature of psychological tools and subjective interpretation of qualitative data are some of the limitations of psychological inquiry. Ethical principle of voluntary participation of subjective 
their informed cons consent and sharing of result with the participants must be followed by a researcher. Experiments usually involve at least one experimental group and a control group. Differences between the group in the dependent variable can be said to be caused by the independent variable. Ethical research carefully protects the rights of participants. Research using human is considered to be ethical when the following conditions are met. First, individual are asking to participate without corcoin or force. Second, individuals are informed about the nature of the experiment before giving consent to participate. Third, unnecessary deception of participants is avoided and carefully regulated when required. Fourth, the nature of the study is fully explained to the participant after the study is over. Fifth, all information learned about the participant is kept confidential. Then, statics. Statics is the branch of mathematics which deals with, with numerical data. It, it deals with descriptions, summarizing and representation of data. The inter, in, the inferential statistics help to draw conclusion from data. Psychologists use four levels of scale, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Nominal scale is at the lowest level and ratio the highest. Okay, students. That's all. Thank you.